All right, all right, all right. We should be good. We should be good. So, hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well today. Of course, for this live stream, I will be covering the likes of the Rebels versus the Hollanders. So, yeah, very excited to do this, of course. Uh, for anyone who is new to the channel, make sure, obviously, to like the live stream. We'd greatly appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, let me know in the live chat. Let me know who you guys think will win this game between the Rebels and the Hollanders. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good matchup. I mean, the, both sides of a really stacked lineup here. I mean, um, you know, kickoff is literally happening right now. Um, I'll quickly read out the lineups just very quickly as as because the, the kickoff has happened. But let me just quickly go over it. Matt Gibbon, Jordan Uwesi, Sam Talaka. Uh, there's a uh, Tulum uh, Lima. There's a uh, Lachlan Saka Loto, Josh Kemery. There's a uh, Noble Alaski, uh, Noble uh, La, La Kwasi. There's a um, E. Kwasi, and then there's Ryan Lawrence, Carter Gordon, Toby Lancaster, David Fluea, uh, Philippe Dongadu, Lockie Lodigan, and Andrew Kellaway for the Rebels. And then, yeah, for the Hollanders, you have the likes of Dan Lander Brown, Henry Bell, Mao, Oliver Hag, Perry Perry Parkinson, Sean Woody, Billy Harmon, Brolton, Fla Fakataba, uh, Fle Fanga, Noreki number 10, Gilbert number 11, uh, 12, Tele number 14, Tavata Nawa number 14, and Jake Rulatu. Uh, Tavuki Nemkins at number 15. But um, anyway, going to the game because it has already started here, guys. Um, Rebels at the ball in this opening minute. Come on, come on. So Rebels have have kicked it far down the field, but it's Tabata Tabata Nawa who clears it down the field once more. Carter Gordon collects the ball there for the Rebels. Come on, come on. And by the way, I'm hoping to come the Rebels in this game, guys. That's kind of who I'm cheering for in this one. Come on. So Ryan Lawrence passed the ball up there towards Matt Gibbon. Matt Gibbon there towards Matt uh, Carter Gordon with a kind of a straight pass there towards Jordan Uwesi. Carter Gordon out towards uh, Flip Dungadu. Andrew Kellaway this time. Side stepping his way through. Back obviously from that. Uh, he actually didn't play the last game, if I'm not mistaken. So it's good to obviously have him back on the side. But here we go. Ryan Lawrence out. Or passing towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon sells the dummy. It's Sam Talaka now going through. Gains a few meters in the process. Ryan Lawrence out there towards Flip Dungadu. Out towards uh, Darby Lancaster, trying to find the offload there towards uh, Lachlan Nolligan. Oh, sorry, L Lachlan Sakai Loto. They're close. They're inside the 22 meter zone here, the Rebels guys. They're only five meters out from the try line. Ryan Lawrence out. Oh, they're short. They're short of the try line. And there you go. They've scored. Wow. This is a quick start here, for, for a very quick start here for the Rebels. Exactly the start they would have wanted. Wow. Great passage play there for them. And they've taken the lead there. Wow. So there you go. Lauren's there. Uh, gets the opening try in this game. I think it was like literally like two minutes in, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the second minute, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was just good play there by the Rebels to kind of just pass the ball quickly out, distribute the ball out nicely um, wide. Yeah, and Callaway obviously found the breakaway. Um, and then, yeah, just they kind of bounced on. They kind of went from there. But, um, yeah, Ryan Lawrence done well there. He's done well there as number nine. I assume I was in the second minute because it was so quick in this game. Yeah, they say third, but it was the second. All right, cool. So we're in the third minute now. Got to go in and convert this. Ooh, a bad – wow, that's a not the best – that's a bad kick there. Very bad kick. Um, so the scoreline will remain five points to nil, but uh, hey, but a good start here for the Rebels. A good start there for the Rebels. I'm have a big sip of water. <sighs> Feeling refreshed already, but uh, yeah, let me know obviously in the comments, guys, well, in the live chat. Let me know if you guys are supporting for this game. You know, we have uh, one I can see there saying Mr. All In, yeah, who's winning, Timmy. Um, yeah, well, I'm I'm backing the Rebels for this one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the Rebels um, – I'm hoping the Rebels can win this, um, at least, for this game. But, uh, but yeah, no, Jason Hamilton said, yeah, woke, uh, wake up, Hollanders. It's not the Hurricanes this time, so no excuses for losing this one. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. I mean, the Hollanders are definitely favorites um, going into this game. So they have a they have a good opportunity in winning this. Um, uh, uh, that's, that's for certain. But, uh, but yeah, no, I'm, go I'm going for the Rebels because, you know, the, 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 I – like out of all the Australian sides, you know, they're, they're a team I always kind of like, enjoy watching. So it's, yeah, it's, I mean, again, Queensland Reds is, is my team when it comes to the Australian sides. If I had to pick one, if I had to, I mean, again, like that's, that's really more in the situation if I have to pick one. But 
Uh, but I don't mind the Rebels. The Rebels is a decent side as well. So that's why I'm kind of just supporting them for this game, I guess. But, uh, but uh, yeah. But here we go. The Rebels have got a penalty, a penalty, by the way. So they're moving up the field here. So they're past the halfway line there. It's going to be a line out here for the Rebels. So Johnny Nuesi will throw in this line out. He's, not, he's always known as not the best line out um, thrower. Um, oh, he actually, he actually done pretty well there. They've broken through here. Ryan Lauren's out. Oh, but the pass has gone forward, so the Hollanders will latch on to that. Oh, was it overtaken? No. I thought they almost had it there, but Falafa Kataba passing out towards Gilbert. Gilbert then towards Nureki. Oh, it's been blocked! Oh. Okay, they're going back towards... There's a long advantage there, but um, they're going back towards that scrum that was originally called earlier on, so... It will be a scrub in favor of the Hollanders there. Wow. Yeah, Fliasi just kind of mis mishandled, kind of juggled it, misjuggled it, really. Come on. I mean, yeah. So we'll have the first scrum of this. Well, I think this is going to be the first scrum of the game, if I'm not mistaken. So, Yeah. I mean, yeah, Mr. Olin. Yeah, oh, we've uh, passed the brace and you up the canes. Yeah, yeah, you must have been happy about happy about that performance, of course. Uh, Mr. Olin says, yeah, damn, South Island not doing uh, good, A. Eh? Big, big battle here. Yeah, 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 that's, that's definitely for sure. Hey, it'll be a good game, it's, it's going to be a good game. But uh, yeah, we have Joel Moore also in there saying, yo, yo, good to see you, good to see you. But uh, yeah, so here we go. It's going to be a Hollander's uh, scrum here, guys, on their own 22 meter line. They've had to reset this. Um, we are on the sixth minute of the game. But, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, like, just looking back at that game, of course, that happened, guys. Uh, let me just put the air corner, actually, because why? Should I put this on earlier on? Come on. I'm going to ball here if I don't have air con, particularly in Hong Kong, guys. <laughs> Is this off? Just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to turn this on. Yeah, that's why. It's was off. <laughs> I was like, come on. There you go. There you go. Cool. But um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Blaz Brace and uh, Blaz Brace and yeah, seven from seven. Um, my ask question for since who, um, since for you since I asked Hanny, who will stop the Canes? Woof. I mean, that's a big question. Um, yeah, yeah. It's one of those like where I I. Uh, if I if I look at like the table, let me let me, let me just give me a give me a moment to just look at the table because I can say a few teams already off the back, who I think could challenge them. But yeah, I mean I if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I think there's only really two teams I can see the Hurricanes losing to. Um, I guess you can maybe say no, yeah, no. I I I think I'll only say two teams. I'd say the one they're actually playing against next week. Um, um, I say Fiji and Jura. That's a game which they that they could lose that game because it's in Fiji. Anything can happen in Fiji, so that's why I think that's a game which honestly the Hurricanes could lose that. Um, and then I'd say the Blues. I honestly would just say the Blues because the Blues are a very strong outfit. You know they've always been very consistent. That game against the Hurricanes kind of was a it was a they they did well in that game the Hurricanes, but I thought the but the Blues in all honesty didn't have their best team. Uh, well, they just didn't. They just didn't perform on that day, so I I think if it was an, if they had another run at it, I think the Blues would be much better. And again, like they've been in good form recently. So if I had to say the two teams, just to answer your question there, Blas uh, Plaza Braves, I'd say the Fiji Jura, just because of their playing at home next week, and that's a good opportunity for them maybe to lose their first game, or the Blues. So yeah, that's the two teams I'd say. But uh, oh, here we go, the Hollanders on the breakaway here, guys. Hollanders on the breakaway. They found a long pass down towards the left wing. It's a Jacob Ratu Vuki Nemkins. Can he score? No. He can't score. Oh, my gosh. That was a big opportunity there for the Hollanders. Because, uh, again, they, they won a penalty earlier from that scrum, by the way. And they were able to move up to the field. Um, it was da it was uh, Daniel Little Brown actually, who found the, the pass down towards the left, left hand side towards Jacob Ratu Vuki Nemkins. But it was uh, Filippo Dungado who tackled him out. Um, so it is going to be a rep. Wow. So the Hollanders have won the ball here from the Lions. So Billy Harmon now going for it. Come on. I'll answer your uh, question, by the way, James. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to your question, uh, your comment there, by the way, Jason. Just, just commentating this first. Fafa Kataba then passing out. Oh, here we go. Brolton now going forward here for the Hollanders. They're only five years out from the try line. Oh, Gilbert getting close there. 
Come on, Falafel Kataba this time. Here we go. He's looking for the boss. Yeah, they look good here. They look good. Passing ball up. They have numbers on the left. Oh, it's a big tackle there. Hollanders still have the ball. They still have the ball. Flapa Tava out. Nope, he hasn't able to score there. Oh, it's been tackled. So it's about the now now on the ball. Nope, he's been taken down. He still hasn't scored. They're literally one minute away from the trial line here, the Hollanders. My gosh, Rebels defense is holding here. Here we go. And there you go. They finally get the try. I think it's uh, Witty with the try, if I'm not mistaken, there. Yeah, that's fair enough. And that was scored in the 10th minute of the game. So there you go. The score is now level. I mean, it's underneath the post as well. So I'll, I'll just go seven immediately, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, Witty in the 10th minute of the game. Good try, though. Good good try there by the Hollanders. They kind of just added, added kind of put the pressure all there on the uh, the Rebels defense. And yeah, they kind of they found the opening. But um, yeah, going back towards Jason. Yeah, you said uh, Tim Senior, Hong Kong Sevens video. Cool. Yeah, thanks for that. So it looks like the beers are going down well. Yep, that's for. Oh, yeah. That's, yes, there's. That's for sure. Um, yeah, there was the one moment where I just. To be honest, like I, I filmed that video, guys. I completely forgot I, fi I, I filmed it. I was like, you know what? This is. Probably I should just probably add this into the the vlog for for, for all you guys and yeah, I mean, just me dancing around, just I was like all over the place. But uh, but yeah, no, it was it was good fun. It was good fun. So yeah, no, enjoy my time. But um, yeah, no, uh, Palo Bay is there saying um, Palo Bay is saying uh, yeah, Drua will will need uh will will need to defend with heart and yeah, we'll need to defend with heart and Blues will need to sort out their discipline. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Mr. All In says yeah, Lanners need to run away. Uh, what, yeah, fair, fair. What is this? Sorry, guys. Quickly. Oh, let me just quickly. Um, but There we go. Ah, come on, come on. We're now in the 12th of this game, guys. Um, Hollanders have possession here with a line out, a long ball down there. Not the best line out there by Bell, but um, they they ooh, they almost had it, but they actually knocked it on there. So it's going to be a rebel scrum there, guys. A rebel scrum. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I mean, both. I mean, I, to be honest, the Hollanders really need to win more, I'd say, than the Rebels. Um, the more I think about it, just because they need it, they need to kind of, um, I guess, um, extend that gap between the other teams. Um, because you really just want to secure that that playoffs um, in the long run, of course. But you, they definitely need to win. They need to win these kind of games. So yeah, but again, the Rebels need to also win this game because they want to kind of maintain the place they're in at the moment. Because I think they're like honestly, they, they, they're in a good place. I mean, they're, they're like fifth or sixth at the moment. The Rebels. So. They're in a good position in terms of the table. Like, if I look quickly here, guys, they're in, um, yeah, fifth place. So, yeah, they're in a good spot with 19 points there. I mean, Hollanders have 11. So, they've actually fallen down towards 10. But, again, you have to remember, they've only played six games. So, that's why. They're, they're obviously, that's why they're a bit behind there. But they'll, they'll be definitely in the uh, the top eight. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, jeez. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, Hurricanes also take the top of the table once more. 32 points. Blues on 27. Some of Brumbies. Yeah, that's crazy. Now the Chiefs have lost that game. It kind of gives a bit of a breathing space there for the top three. Um, and the Rebels can actually close the gap on the Chiefs. If they actually win, Wow, if they actually win this game, guys, the Rebels will go into fourth place. 
Wow, I I I just I just realized that. Wow, that's a big that'll be big for them because it means they'll get a they'll get a home quarterfinal for for what it is currently. For obviously, there's a long way to go this season, but so it's, it's interesting to see that. But uh, yeah, yeah. Which team do you think will win? Um, yeah, need the bonus point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, which team do you think will win? Um, yeah, I think I. I mean, I've, I've hedged my bet towards the Rebels to win this game. Um, I even said it in the, in the podcast as well. So i got to back that. I'm going to say the Rebels to win this game, guys. They are playing at home as well. So that's also just the other thing, you know, home advantage as well. But here we go. Uh, Ryan Moore is out there towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon passing out towards Andrew Kellaway. Kellaway there towards Freak Bungaru. Sizing his way through. Past the 10 meter line there, guys. Come on. Ryan Lawrence out there towards Matt Gibbon. Matt Gibbon out towards Carter Gordon. Ooh. Is that a penalty? Yep. A penalty there for the Rebels. In the 15th end of this game. A penalty there for the Rebels um, on the 10 meter line. Para Para Parkinson, the uh, the culprits or the, uh, the players being penalized. But yeah, Landers to win. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. As of Lays, putting the Landers. Yeah, yeah, they'll be wanting to step up after the last game versus the kids. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, no, that, that's for sure. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah, no, we can say, just Hamilton says, yeah, I can honestly say that the the crowd at the Hollanders versus Hurricanes game was the most dejected group of fans I have seen there. They were actually yelling out to the Hollanders to wake up. <laughs> My gosh. I thought you know the opposite way around here. I thought, like, yeah, they were actually giving you know, some good praise or whatever. I was like, nope, nope, they were just horrible. Fair enough. I mean, it's, it's it's one of those games where the the Hurricanes just really just yeah they 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 really uh, <laughs> they stepped it up in that game. That's for sure. That's for sure. But uh, here we go. So the the Rebels um, have a line out to your guys and saw the the Hollanders twenty two meter line. Yeah. Come on, come on. By the way, guys, for anyone who is watching, make sure obviously to like the video, guys. We greatly appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel, guys, if you haven't already. And yeah, leave a comment in the live chat. Let me know what your thoughts are. Just let me know anything. Just ask me anything if you guys want. Ask me anything in the live chat. But um, yeah, here we go. Jordan and Recky out there. Uh, I'm just have on the ball back here, guys. So Tavata, Tavata, now why kind of busting his way through, fending off a few players in the process. Flapa Katava passing now towards there, uh, towards Daniel Little Brown. Come on. Black out. Well, back to uh, yeah, towards Fly Fanger. Gosh, yeah. How knows the wind? Me, uh, DZ says, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, they do have a lead at the moment, so. Here we go. Rebels to put the line out. Oh, it's a bad line out there by the Rebels. Home is collected with ease. Flava Katava. Come on. Yeah, TJ and Sevilla are fighting for the most tries, and Super P, uh, TJ will overtake with ease. Yeah, well, yeah, now with Cam Borgo obviously out, then yeah, no, that's 100%. Ooh, is the ball going out? Wow. A good kick there by, uh, by the Hollanders. So it'll be a goal on drop out here. Yeah, Jordan Arecki is a great player. Great player. We're in the 18th minute now, guys. 18th minute. Come on. So, Carter Gordon and clear the ball away. It's Burleson to bring the ball up there for the Hondas. Flap the top out towards the right-hand side, passing it towards Daniel Le Brown, passing it towards Jordan Arecki in the inside. Come on. Flakotaba out towards uh, Sean Whitty, the try scorer. Come on, come on. Sakai Loto oh, trying to get in, trying to um, steal the ball, but unable to. Come on, here we go, here we go. Oh, good pass there, good pass there by Brolton. Hollanders charging 40. They're inside the 22 meter zone here, and they have advantage here. The Hollanders have advantage here, guys. They can do what they want. Flakotaba, oh, trying to find the sell the dummy. Billy Harmon now taken down. Okay, they're going back towards that penalty. Going back towards that spot. I mean, this is an easy free. I'd just take the free if I were them. 
there's no point. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know if we're complicated. Just take the free. You also have Sam Gilbert, so you might as well just do it. Uh, but yeah, no, we have, uh, yeah, even when Roy got out, uh, TJ is still over, well, or overtake, uh, with ease. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's just in great form, uh, form scoring tries are fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, both, both of them are known for scoring tries. So it's, um, it's definitely not like a, a bad replacement for Roy God, that's for sure. And yeah, TJ Bernard with a ton of experience under, under his belts. And yeah, just, just knows how to find that char line. What you, like, like you said, he's definitely a good player to have in, in, in any team. But, um, yeah, media, uh, DC said, I bet a thousand dollars. Wow. On the Hondas. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. But, um, but there you go. Gilbert has converted it, guys. So it is now five points to ten. So the Hollanders now have a five-point lead. Come on, here we go. So Carter going with the high ball in the air. Oh, the Rebels, have they won it? They have won it. There you go. They've won the ball from their own kickoff. Come on, Andrew Kellaway passing the ball out towards Carter Gordon. Oh, a great pass there by Carter Gordon. They have the – it's Darby Lancaster on the left wing. Can he score a try here? Wow, great try there by the Rebels. Wow, right from the kickoff they've scored. That's a great try by the Rebels, and, and they've they've equaled, the, they've equaled the, the scoring right there. Wow, great try. Great try. I mean, that was all the way from Kellaway. I mean, it was all really from that Carter Gordon pass, really. That pass towards uh, – wow. Puts away and then Loya then found Darby Lancaster who kicked it kind of a little grubber kick down the field and yeah, obviously just uh, got his got it and, and scored it within the left hand corner. Wow, great try, great try there by Darby Lancaster. That's exactly what you want from your from your wingers. Let me just put that down there for the Rebels. Long Lancaster and what minute was that in? I think it was like the twentieth minute. I think the 20th minute. I mean, it was that quick, guys. So I want to say the 20th minute. It could have been the 21st. I don't know. Let me just see here. Come on, show. Yeah, I said the 20th minute. Why not? Uh, there is a kick to come here, and he does convert it. Wow. Wow. Carter Gordon's done well there. So there you go. 12. Uh, but yeah, no, 10 10. Yeah, 12 10. Yeah, final prediction to me. Oh, gosh. I mean, you never know, really, with these two sides because it's going to be a very open game. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes into the 40s, in all honesty, but I, I'll, I'll say a safe bet. I'll say, like, the 30s. But it'll be a high score in 30s game. So, like, I'll say, like, 30... I don't know. I'll, I'll say 38-35 in favor of the Rebels. Yeah, I'll say that. 38-35 in favor of the Rebels. That's my prediction. But, um... Yeah, no, um, TJ will be number nine for the ABs with experience in form. I don't know, back up half until Vorgon is back. Yeah, yeah. Well, for the ABs, ooh, that's a big, that's a big call because I honestly think there's there's bet there's there's more. I think there are scrum maps I would choose over TJ Paranar, in, in all honesty. Like I would say I would pick, I mean, you're gonna pick no matter what. Um Falafel, I would choose Flaffa Katava. I like him a lot. I would choose Finley Christie. You got um, Cortez Latima. I think those three. I literally chose those. I would choose those three over uh, Teacher Perinar. I mean, I'm trying to think of anyone else I forgot. It. Is there anyone else? Uh, and there's Xavier Rowe. He's been a right. But I, I I wouldn't choose him over TJ. I think TJ right now is at the fourth pick for me. About this, but but again, you know, it's, it, experience does matter. So you never know. Maybe maybe Teacher Perinar does get back into the All Blacks. So it's not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. But uh, Anyway, here we go. Honors will have um, have a penalty here, and, and they've decided to go for a kick here. So Sam Gilbert, Sam Gilbert, the step up. He's a good kicker, this guy. So, but yeah, I know if Rebel loses, um, I'll send you um, a donation of two hundred dollars. Wow, jeez, okay. Um, I mean, I, I've I've never had a donation before, so um, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but uh, oh, can you get this? Oh, it's short. Wow. He's actually just missed it. Wow. Okay. Well, Carter Gordon's uh, kicked it away. So there you go. But um, yeah, a bit of a seesaw game. Yeah, it has been. It has been a bit of a seesaw. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, I can't do much about that, really. 
Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, looks good there. He's done well there. Hollander's at the ball here, guys. Hollander's at the ball. Yeah, a bit of uh, Cecil games. So Rebels winning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nah, don't get me wrong. They are great players, but but what? But with what I said, I'll put TJ more in favor with with Robbie. Yeah, fair. No, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But here we go. Sam Gilbert passing the ball out there towards Woody. Woody finding the opening there for the Hollanders. Oh, he juggles the ball. But he's got he's lost it though. So gonna, so the Rebels will have a scrum here. Yeah, as, as it has gone forward there. So yeah, a bit unfortunate there for uh, Woody there. Well, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Gosh, I mean, yeah, so far, I mean, the Hondas have had three errors compared to the Rebels' one. So, yeah, they definitely need to work on that department. But uh, anyway, it is, a, it is a scrum in favor of the Rebels here, guys. Let's see if they'll be able to do anything from this play. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Jeez. It's just, it's... Uh, th there's a reset at the moment, guys, by the way, just a reset. Yeah. And by the way, just, I mean, for, for anyone who is watching you, by the way, guys, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a... Um, I guess, uh, what's it called? Like a an Easter egg. Not an Easter egg, but like, um, I'll give you an update. Actually, that's more of the word. Just, just say an update. Um, I will be posting a video um, in the near, uh, I will be filming a video soon, give, um, giving an early prediction for the All Blacks in terms of what I believe um, Scott Robinson would select. Or I, I have to, I have to say, I have to either say it's what I think he'll select or what Scott Robinson will select. I, I'll have to decide, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a prediction soon, an early prediction of the All Blacks. So keep an eye out for that because that'll come out um, at least next week. Um, so yeah, keep a, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, no media diseases. Yeah, I'll be back in 20. Yeah, no problem. No problem. But here we go. Rebels at the ball here, guys. They're past the halfway line. Come on. Ryan Lawrence out towards uh, Carter Gordon. Oh, finds the awful there towards Cremory. He's running. He's, all, he's running. Whoa, it's a big tackle on him. Oh, is it going forward? No. Nope. Their set has not gone forward. Anderson collects it, passing out. It's Jordan Nuesi this time. They're into the 22-meter zone here, the Rebels. Come on. Come on. Ryan Lawrence out. Oh, it's a good tackle on him. Good tackle on him. Come on. Ryan Lawrence out towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon out towards Talakai. Come on. Come on. Carter Gordon out towards Ryan's side. Come on, they have a two-on-one here. Oh! Oh, did Nemkins uh, take that away? I think this could be a penalty try here, guys. Okay, so this could be a big call, this, guys, because it's even going to be one of those like where. It's going to be a penalty try, and Nemkins, uh, Jacob Ratu uh, Vuki Nemkins is yellow carded, or it's just going to be one of those like, where it was a fair, it was a fair kind of play, and it'll only be like a penalty. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But the team owes in the look of this guy, so yeah, it's not good any any way for the Hollanders. So here we go. I mean, it's a two on one. They 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 didn't have a guy covering it. I mean, he's going to score that, so. Yeah, I I, I, I honestly think I'd, I'd give a penalty try for this, guys. I'd give a penalty try and a yellow card. That's what I would do in this situation, because it's, it, it's an, there's no player behind who's covering that try as well, who's covering it. Yeah, there's no, literally, there's no one there. 
There's no one. There's literally he was the last offender, so it has to be. Yeah, red legs, absolutely yellowed, but not a penalty try for the commitment. <laughs> for the commitment. <laughs> oh, I, like, I like that. I mean, this yeah, this has to be yellow. It's not even like. There you go, penalty try. So penalty try there, guys. I mean, that's fair, though. That's fair, because it's it's literally, it's going to be a try anyway. So there you go. It's now 19 points to 10. So penalty try. A penalty try in the 27 minutes. Yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, it was a good play there by the Rebels because like, they found openings within the defense. It was Carter Gordon. He found that pass towards Kemery. He kind of broke through the line. And, yeah, from there, it was a good tackle by on him by Jordan Orecki. But they still kept going. I mean, it was like, yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, kickoff has happened there. So just, just to remind you guys, so there, there is a yellow card here for Jacob Ratu and Wookie Nemkin. So the Hollanders will be down the 14 men for the remainder for the next nine minutes. So just keep that in mind. But, um yeah, there you go. Felipe Ngadi has kicked it out, so it will be a Hollanders line here, guys. A Hollanders line out. We're in the 20th minute. 28th minute. Come on. So, Bell to throw this in here. Henry Bell to throw this in here for the Hollanders. Uh, yeah, Nemkins is just as exciting as a fullback as Ben Smith was. Um, there's always a sense of anticipation when he gets the ball to help. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, he's good. He's a really good player. Um Again, I, I've spoken about him before. You know, obviously him at being being at the Blues. I could, you know, I could tell just by watching all of the games that he there was some X, there was X factor about him. But um, but yeah, he's a he's a, he's a good. Play. I'm happy he's playing for the Hollanders. Yeah, he, it's it's good to watch him play. But uh, here we go. They have advantage there, the Hollanders. So Flakmatava out, passing towards Gilbert. Gilbert out towards um, Broughton. Here you go. Tabata to Tabata now. Why kind of just going forward himself? Okay, the referee's going to give a penalty here. Going back towards that penalty call he gave earlier on. Uh, come on. Jeez. Yeah. But yeah, just going back to what I was saying before, guys, with, with, with that video I'm releasing um, around the All Blacks in terms of what I believe will be this, and what I believe Scott Robinson would select. Um, it's... It's going to be probably the toughest selection I've had to make because again, it's it's you just don't know what Scott Robinson is going to go with because he's a new coach. It's the start of a new cycle, so it's 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 brand brand new. So um, it'll be definitely the hardest video. Well, it'll be a a, a very <laughs> um, hard video to do just in terms of the selection because yeah, it's going to be tough. But um, anyway, well, I'll get into it and obviously I'll, I'll make a final decision then. But um, because you never know. There's some names which I have, which I'm like, okay, these players can go in that I may have an opinion now, but in, in, in the next few days, it can just change like that. So, yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Hollanders at the possession of you guys. Fakutaba passing out towards Sam Gilbert on the left wing. They're only five years up in the trauma here. Ten minutes left in this first half. Fakutaba out towards Dallin and Brown. Oh, but he's dropped it. He's dropped it. So, there you go. Ryan Lawrence out towards uh, Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon now running with it. Oh, but he's knocked it on as well. Okay, they're going, they're going back towards that first knock on. So it will be a rebel scrum here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of, a lot of mistakes so far in this game, guys. Gosh. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Gosh. I would love to actually get your opinion, guys. Um, who do you think? Um, on, I want to give you – this is a good debate, by the way. So this is a good debate. Who do you think has been the better fullback this season so far? Andrew Kellaway or Jacob Blatu Vuki Nemkins? Who do you think has been the better fullback this season? Because, by the way, both of them were within my were within my uh, fullback video. If you guys check that out within my channel. So 
So yeah, let me know. Let me know who you think is who's had the better season so far, Andrew Kellaway or Jacob Rato Vuki Nemkins. Let me know. Let me know the com- let me know in the live chat and let me know why you think he's been better. But uh, yeah, Joe Webley there saying yeah, hard to pick an AB's team because of injuries and availability. That's definitely that's for sure. That's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. But that's another reason why. So yeah. Because again, it wouldn't be like the exact team which you would want to select. Um, because there's players you obviously, you know, I can name them off the back, like Will Jordan, Cam Morgan, of course, you would want to be in starting eleven or oh, starting starting fifteen, but you can't select them because they're injured uh for your, for a long period of time. So yeah, so obviously you're gonna have some new names in there and that. So yeah, it makes it difficult. But again, that, that makes it obviously a lot more interesting as well. So I'm looking forward to the video. But um but like I said, guys, let me know. Let me know who you think has had a better season so far, Angie Killaway or Jacob Rato Vuki Nemkins. But uh, here we go. Rebels have the line here, guys. Um, it's uh, – who's that? Uh, it's Bakuasi there, kind of uh, kind of going his way through. Ryan Lawrence with a high ball in the air. Ooh, good catch there by Jonah Norecki at the halfway line. He's done very well there. So there you go. Flaf Kataba out there towards Perry Perry Parkinson. Come on, Fakataba out there towards uh, Flefanger. Come on. High ball in the air. Ooh, Killaway does well to collect that. Yeah, the safe hands of him. Come on, here we go. Ryan Lawrence out towards Carter Gordon. A long kick there by Carter Gordon. Oof, long kick indeed. So here we go, Nuraki now towards the left wing, chasing his own kick. Um, Kellaway collects the ball there. Oh, it goes for a sidestep. Ah, oh, he's not well there. So Kellaway clears the ball away there, past the halfway line, goes out into touch. Wow, good kick. Good kick. Wow, good kick there by Kellaway. Um, they've won the territory battle, at least, there. But, um, but you yeah, know, we have uh, Jason there saying, yeah, Nankins for sure. Even when he gets yellow carded, um, he gets back on the field with the uh, attitude of making it up to, the t- to his team. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm biased because I like Killaway, but Phil, his game is not quite up to, quite up to previous seasons so far. Okay, interesting, interesting. Good to good to know, good to know. But uh, here we go. So it's gonna be a whole news lineup here, guys. Remember, there's only three minutes left on the yellow card as well. But um, oh, Rebels have stolen it. Rebels have stolen the ball here. Wow, he's still going there. Oh, never mind. I thought it was. It's gone forward, they're saying there. So it will be a Hollander's uh, scrum here, guys. Hollander's scrum. Yeah, it's gone back and forth this game. It's like it's one player. It's like they get the ball and they just give it away. It's like for, And that's for both sides, by the way. Oh, he's looked good there. I really do hope the Rebels, by the way, uh, continue. Um, you know, actually, that's probably the best conversation, actually. I want, actually, that's a good debate. I want to get your guys' take. Let me know in the live chat because this, this is where I, wa- I, I wanted to do a video on this earlier in the season when everything was obviously announced. But um, I decided not to because I just thought it was a – I don't know. It was, a, it, was a, it was really negative to talk about. But what do you guys think about the Rebels? Do you, do you want to still see them – like in within Super Rugby, or do you just don't want them in, to be in Super Rugby anymore? Because again, obviously, with the whole financial situation around them, would you be kind of happy for them to not like? Would you be okay with them not being in Super Rugby for the following seasons, um, or would you like them to continue? Because I'm, I honestly like the Rebels a lot, guys. I mean, like looking at their side now, they have a great side. I honestly wouldn't get rid of them, but at the same time, like that means that who 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 are you can get rid of from the other teams. It's a bit of a tricky situation you're in because, yeah, it, it's tough. Because um, I, th- I think 12 teams is, is is good, really. I think 12 teams is is a is a good number, but yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think because that's that's probably the biggest question I have of of today, guys. Will be about that. But uh, anyway, uh, Rebels have the ball here, guys. They're moving out towards the left hand side here. Good passes. Uh, the referee's giving a penalty here. Okay, so a penalty here for the Rebels. Ooh, a bit of a tug there by the Hollanders players. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your input there, mate. Uh, yeah, so Joe Bubbly said, yeah, the Rebels promised so much. Uh, uh, then then they die in, in a hole, can be frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. But uh, here we go. Carter Gordon. Okay, so they're not going for the kick here. They want to get a try. They want to go for another try here. I like it. They want to take advantage of the yellow card, which is fair enough. So there you go. It's going to be a lounge here. 
So it was Kellaway. Oh, get yeah, another, an, an, another um, what's it called? Swipe at the ball. Wow. Anyway, um, so here we go. Jordan your way there. We're now in the 37 minute, guys. So three minutes left in this game, and one minute left left on that yellow card. Rebels have won the lineouts there. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's moving. The small is moving. Ooh, the Hollanders are pushing them back. The referee says once. Come on. Lawrence passing the ball out there. Out to Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon out. Oh, it's a bad. It's going backwards the same. Kellaway's running for this. Oh, I think it's been snatched there by the Hollanders. Yep, Hollanders of possession. They clear the ball away. So there you go. They're passing the ball up there towards Carter Gordon. Come on. Okay, well, they're back all the way toward the half line line, halfway line here. The Rebels. Oh, there's a knock on there as well. So the Hollanders have a scrum here. Wow. That's big, uh, that's a big territory game there, at least for the Rebel uh for the uh for the Hollanders. And with that, Jacob Blatter Rookie Nemkins comes back onto the field. So perfect timing there for the Hollanders. But yeah, guys, like I said before, guys, let me know your thoughts on the Rebels. Do you think they should um, continue to stay in rep Super Rugby uh, going forward? Would you like them to see? Would you like them to be in Super Rugby going forward, or um, or would you be? Um, I don't know. Would you? Would you be? Um, I guess okay with some changes. I guess that's kind of the best way I could say. It. But um, yeah, Hamilton there, Jason Hamilton saying, yeah, Rebels are are the darling team of Australian rugby. It's hard not to back a team who can easily punch above their weight at any time. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. That's a good way of saying it, actually. I love that. That's a good way of saying it. But, um, but yeah, no, guys, so far we've had five likes. Uh, make sure, obviously, to click the like button, guys, if you, have, if you haven't already. Come on. So here we go. Hannah's at the ball there, out towards the left wing. Ooh, big tackle there on him. Oh, can they get, get him out? Yeah. So the Rebels steal it. Rebels at the ball. Come on. Andrew Kellaway. Oh, he goes by himself there. Come on, Ryan Lawrence out towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon, nope. He's trying to size up his way through, finding uh, Lachlan Sakai Loto. They were under advantage, but there was, I think, a forward pass there. So they're going to be back towards that advantage earlier on. So it's going to be a scrum here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Gosh. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, uh, when did the uh, the rebels start? Uh, you mean as a club? Oh, I mean that'd be interesting. I mean, I can switch it up right now for you guys. Melbourne Rebels. When did they start as a club? Where are they, Rebels? Melbourne Rebels. When were they? When did they start as a team? So they were founded in 2010. Okay, interesting. So 14 years ago. There you go. They made your de they made their debut in. In 2011. So there you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. But um, here we go. So we have a scrum here, guys. Uh, by the way, the siren sounded. So this will be the last play of the game. So Ryan Lawrence has the ball here. Telling, telling them to use it. Carter Gordon, go, they're going for an attack here. I like it. Come on. Ryan Lawrence passing the ball out towards the left hand side. He numbers each way. Oh, he's going by himself there. Come on. Look on Sakai Loto out towards Kellaway. Oh, it's a great pass towards Dobby Lancaster. He's through. Dobby Lancaster. Oh, he's been sidestep. Oh, I think he scored. Wow. What a try. Dobby Lancaster. <laughs> that was a great try. Wow. That's a great try. It was Carter Gordon who was taken down there. Ryan Lawrence then found Lachlan Sakai Loto. Andrew Kellaway with like a little pass there, a quick one, finding Dobby Lancaster. Got rid of one defender, got rid of the two. Sidestep pass to Recky. My gosh, what a try. What a try. So let me put the... Um... Will there be any checks here? I, I, I don't think so. Let me... But wow. Wow, what a try there by Darby Lancaster. He actually went down, got it back on his feet. Wow.
What a try. That's a brilliant try there by Dobby Lancaster. Yeah. Jeez. That's a good try. That's a really good try. And that was scored in the, the 41st minute, I'll say, of the game. And there you go. Carter Gordon's converted the as well. Wow. So that, that, they've done well there to kind of take advantage, to, to extend the lead before the halftime break. And they've extended it to 26 points to 10, guys. So that's massive for them. But, um, but yeah, no, uh, Justin Hamilton says, yeah, Nemkins will, will now do something special. Well, I, I don't think he did. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I live in uh, Melbourne. The, the Rebels are are in a tough place for rugby, AFL, uh AFL rules here in leagues. Um, league gets a mention. Ruppy doesn't get, get a look in. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Fluke shot. Damn, get another. Get that cruiser out of here. That flick pass, man. Yeah, it was good. It was good, Ruppy. Good try. But um, yeah, no. I I even had a friend. I even have a um a family friend who's um who's in the who's played in the Rebels Academy. So he's told me a lot about like the situation and all that in terms of in terms of Melbourne and his country. So I I, I totally get you in terms. Of, and I I definitely agree with what you said there show but um but anyway we'll, we'll, we'll leave there guys um again we've had tries there obviously from witty in the 10th minutes uh for the hollanders uh we've had obviously a double there by lancaster uh dollar lancaster i mean the first try of the game we had from ryan lawrence there in the second minutes lancaster in 20th and the 41st minutes and as well as a penalty try but um yeah anyway i'll be back in 10 minutes to, 10 minutes time guys give you guys my commentary for the second half of this game between the rebels and the hollanders so yeah see you guys very shortly
All right, all right. We are now back now, guys. We are back. The second half has just started. Here we go. Here we go, guys. So the Honda is up possession to you guys in this uh, in this second half. Um, let's see what you guys said in the comments quickly. Just Honda's on I'll be happy uh, if the Hollanders can get rid of the winless streak uh, they have versus NZ teams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've been in a minute seeing on Togo Jason probably since Oliver. Yeah, big half come in. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if they can do it. Damn, I didn't think the Chiefs would lose by 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the Hurricanes are a good side, so it's not like uh, it's not unexpected. But but yeah, no. it's uh, the Hurricanes are good. They're they're good. So here we go. Uh, Rebels at the ball here, guys. Matt Gibbon now leading the ball up here for the Rebels. Come on. Carter Gordon out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Carter Gordon going to have a long kick here down towards the right side. He's going 50 22. Wow. Has he got that? Oh, I thought he got the 50 22 there. That would have been a really good kick if he got that. There. He's a bloody nose that you can see as well. Come on. Well, here we go. To me, a Hollander's line out here, guys. So, about to throw the ball in. Uh, Rebels. Oh, oh, they have stolen it. The Rebels have stolen it. Oh, uh, but it's gone forward. Never mind. Okay. So, it's going to be a Hollander's scrum then. Hollander's scrum. It was a good challenge, though. So, a bit of stoppage here. I think Lachlan Sakala is going to be a... A bit of treatment here. Yeah, jeez. But, um, yeah, no, down 26 turn. Yeah, yeah, they're going to go four from the table um, if they keep the lead by 16. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, didn't realize Lachlan Sakaraloto was playing for the Rebels. Good find for them. Uh they need some decent forwards. Yeah, no, the, the, the Rebels have a really good side, guys. Like, when, when you look at their player by player, the Rebels have made some really good signings. Like, they, they brought in Darby Lancaster. They brought in Lachlan Sakai Loto. They brought in um, Filippo Dungadu. They brought in, um, obviously, Tenial Tupo. Like, they made some good signings uh, for this year. Um, again, like, the big loss for them, which has already been confirmed, is that Andrew Kellaway is going to be going to the War Tars starting next year um so that's a big loss for them but again they have some i don't know i will well, be good I, I still think they can i, I mean kelly is an awesome player but again he'll be he'll be replacing uh mark narcotawasi who's obviously going off to nrl so the question is who will be replacing who will go into Kelloway's position that's the that's the big question um but um yeah, I mean, there's some 15s I think the Rebels could bring in. Uh, again, this also depends on the whole situation they have. But, um, but anyway, the, uh, the Red, uh, sorry, the Red, the Hollanders uh, won that scrub there, by the way, guys. So they had, they did win a penalty. So they built, they're moving up the field here, guys. Um, they're still inside their own half, but they have a line out here. So another line out here for the Hollanders. Can they win it? They win it cleanly. Nice, nice. Good line out there from the Hollanders. The Moors doing well to kind of move, move the field slightly. Rebels are doing, it's, Ooh, they're doing really well here, the Hollanders. Come on. So, Fafa Katava out there towards Gilbert. Gilbert out towards Fafa Hanger. Towards uh, Jonathan Narecki. Taken down there. Come on. Fafa Hanger. Ooh, out towards uh, Jacob Relato Vuki Nemkin. Side sipping his way through. Come on, man. He's in my fantasy as well, so I wanted to do at least. Need him to do well here. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I need a try from him at least. Okay, so here we go. Some good play so far. Andrew Kellaway now looking towards the left-hand side. Oh, but it's been knocked on. It's been knocked on there. So it will be a scrum in favor of the Hollanders. But um, yeah, yeah, they, they have they, they get some good signings, but don't seem to keep uh, don't seem to keep them. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Yes, yeah. They had like what was it like uh, Monteoni like for one season, but again he went off towards um, Benetton if I'm not mistaken, or went somewhere. Um, so yeah, you are right on that. Like they had, I think who else they've had? Uh, I think I I I saw actually that Brennan uh, Penomos is actually coming back towards Super B as well. Um, he's gonna be joining the Western Force, same with uh, currently Bill. So 
Yeah. I think currently Bill's actually joining now. He's really part of like a whole short term deal thing. But um good to see him obviously come come back into Super B. No, he's a great player, Curly Bill. Very, he's a very underrated player. I think Curly Bill, in terms of what he's done for the Wallabies and just Super Uppy, he's in a he's had a good career. So here we go. So the Hondas have on that scrum once more. It's not the best pass there by Fafanga, but. Yeah, not the best pass. Come on. It's a decent pass. Decent. Well, decent kick of me. So the Hollanders are now entering into the Rebels' uh, 22 meter zone. Yeah, there's a lot of seagulls. <laughs> I was going to mention this. Like, there's a ton. But here we go. Back even now off the field. Um, Koya, Koya now replacing him. But Tanel Tupo now comes on as well for the Rebels. So there you go. That's a big substitution for them. Come on. Oh, they almost won the line out there. So here we go. The Hollanders go inside towards Tabata Danawai. Come on. He's been taken down quickly there. They had numbers there on the left there if they want to use it, but they've gone quickly in there through Billy Harmon. Flaffer top out towards the left, towards Bell. Bell going by himself. Come on, come on. Pass the ball out, pass the ball out. They're at the 22 meter line here, the Hollanders. Jacob Lattu, Wookie Nemkins going forward there. Come on. Oh, it's knocked on. It's another knock on. Wow. There's been a there's been a con, there's been a concession here of knock ons here, guys, from both sides. It's now gonna be a scrum here for the for the rebels. Yeah, and they just brought on Tony on Tupo as well here, so he's gonna be a big help in terms of those scrums at least. Hmm. But yeah, no, uh, Jason. By the way, if you're if you're still here, let me know. Um, because I'm actually curious myself because I haven't actually looked into it. But do do you know a reason why um even the Groot hasn't been playing? Like, is he still injured? Like, I I'm actually unaware of his injury. So, if if, if anyone in the live chat is able to tell me, by the way, is if if even the Groot is like, because I, I I assume he's injured, but I'm not even sure how long he's out for. So. Yeah, just let me know in the chat what, uh, about that because I'm. It just feels weird that they, don't, they haven't been able to use him as much. As, well, they haven't really been able to use him this season. But uh, here we go. Rebels with the, with the scrum here. They're holding up here. Ryan Lawrence out there towards Carter Gordon. Clears the lines there. Pass the halfway line to kick. Passing towards Jacob Ratu Huki Nemkins. Tackled down there by Carter Gordon. Look inside Kyle Loto. Stopping him in his tracks. Come on. Billy Harmon this time, past the halfway line. Come on. Flafanga now passing the ball forward. Oh! I think it was short. Yeah, just short the same. That's been unfortunate. But yeah, we're in the 48th minute now, guys. 48th minute. Come on, here we go, here we go. So good line up there by the Han, uh, by the Rebels. Carter Gordon didn't clear the lines there. Tabata Tabata Nawai now moving the ball up the field. Oh, he almost he almost slipped there, but he's through. Oh, he almost got through. Come on. Oh, he's going by himself there. Wasn't the best decision. Come on, five for Tabata out there. Flat of Fanga passing towards uh, Bell. Come on. Fuck the top out towards Harmon. Harmon towards Gilbert. Gilbert trying to find the offload, but unable to. Come on. They're getting toward. They're, they're past the, te the halfway line here. Honda's moving forward here, guys. Past the 10 meter line. Come on. Jordan Narecki's running this. He's running. So Ryan Lawrence clears the ball away. 
Good kick, actually, by Ron Lawrence. So there we go. Fanfanga now going, going by himself there. And there you go. It's a penalty there. Wow, Felipe Dungani winning the ball from the breakdown. He's done really well in that area throughout the season. He's been a great signing for the Rebels. Great signing. Filippo Dungaru. Yeah, not the, not, the, not the best player there by Fairbanger. Number 10 there for the Hollanders. So here we go. We're going to have a line out inside the Hollanders half here, guys. There'll be a line out in favor of the Rebels. Ooh, David Flowey is going off the field here for the Rebels. So Mick Hughes is going to come on here for him at the number 12 spots. Come on. So we're now in the 50th minute here, guys. 50th minute. It's a good line out. Lachlan Sakhaloto wins it. Ryan Lawrence out there towards Carter Gordon. Come on. Lachlan swings in this time. Lucky Anderson, I mean. Come on. The moving forward, Camry. All right, he's done well. Oh, I think we've won it. Oh, never mind. Advantage. Advantage. So there you go. Rebels up advantage here. It's Kellaway with a kick. The rubber kick there. But there you go. Jacob Rathke, Wookie Nemkins takes it into touch, but they're going back towards a penalty. So there you go. Rebels will they can extend their lead here if they wanted to with an easy free. Which is what I would probably do in that case. Yeah, I'd probably just go for the penalty here. Come on. Wow, they're not going for the they're not going for the penalty. Wow, they just want to get they just want to get they want to go for the try. Fair enough. Fair enough. They want to try to go for a bonus point, which is fair enough. Thank you. Come on, here we go. So a line outs here. So they've kicked for line outs inside the 22. So it's gonna be a uh, a rebels line outs. Come on, here we go. Oh, he's done well. To come on, come on. You're saying 37-23 final score? Okay, okay. Come on, here we go. Lachlan Sakai low to this time, charging forward here for the Rebels. Oh, it's been it's been taken. Wow, it's been ripped. So Gilbert passed the ball there towards Naraki. Oh, he's found Jacob Latu rookie Nemkins. He's kicked the ball away. Kellaway collects it though. Down the left wing. It's the Arby Lancaster this time. The uh, the try score for two. He's been taken down though. Andrew Kellaway out. Come on. Carter Gordon this time looking towards the right hand side. Juice this time. Woo. Some well. Found an opening, but been taken down. Come on, come on. Sakai loads it this time. Oh, he's trying to find the offload towards Tupo. Luckily, it went backwards. Andrew Kellaway out towards Fupa Dungalu. Found a good sidestep there. Come on. Kawasi this time, the number eight, moving forward there for the Rebels. And there you go. It's a Hollanders penalty. Yeah, Falafa Kataba winning the ball from the uh, the breakdown. Good to see. Good play by him. Yeah, they, they need to score a try, uh, the Hollanders, uh, if possible, before the, the 60th minutes, because that's the only way I can see them kind of winning this game. To be fair, they only, they only need two. They need they need what two tries to make it interesting. Obviously, they'll still be behind, but they need to score a try at least before the 60th minutes 
if they want any chance of in this game. But um, you know, I'm I'm not too sure. Personally, think um, he is a blow. Um, blow. Blow what? Maybe he is too worried about himself and not commits. Uh, oh, is this is about looking like a loto you're talking about. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, fair, fair. But uh, here we go. Come on, here we go. Sound good, we're out. Come on, come on. Flavio Cattaba doing well there. Passing the ball there towards the right-hand side. Passing towards Bro Brolton. Come on, Fakatava. Witty, come on, come on, come on. They're moving forward here. Hollander's looking good. They're looking good here. Fakatava out towards Parkinson. Pair pair Parkinson. Moving forward. They haven't taken him down yet. There you go. Finally. They're getting close towards the 22 meter line. Ooh, a big tackle. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, nice shot there by Mafi. I think, yeah, Alex Mafi there because he's on now for Tony Wasey. Even the Groot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I personally think he. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened with him, of course, because he was rumored to kind of join the Blues at the start of the season, but that kind of fell through, I guess. But, um, yeah. Anyway, the Hollanders have a penalty here, guys. Come on, come on. So here we go. Hollanders of the lineups. It's a big opportunity here for them. They've won the line out there. Oh, it's an easy one, too. Flaffa Catava. Oh, he could have just. Oh, he scored himself. Wow, he could he had an easy pass there, but decided to go by himself. So there you go. The Hollanders are back into it. Yeah, he's done well so far, Flaffa Catava. Tava. And that was in what minute was that in? 66th minute, maybe? Uh, sorry, 56th minute? I'm putting 56th minute because I'm, I'm unsure, but I think it was somewhere around there. But good try there by the Hollanders. They found, they found an opening on the left hand side and, yeah, capitalized on it. Yeah, 56th minute, cool. And also, there's still two, two to come, so they could even make. They could uh, close the gap even further with this conversion. Gilbert to step up. Come on, you got to get this kick. <laughs> the the pigeons make it in the way, you never know. <laughs> Imagine you hit one of the pigeons. Oh, gosh, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, good kick. Good kick there by Gilbert. So there you go. It's now 26 points to 17. That's exactly what they needed, Hollanders. Exactly what they needed. Yeah, I could also say the same about Taylor you know, Tupo. Why would he be why would he be reserved instead of starving? Yeah, it, it, it's been weird really for him at the moment because he's a new signing and all that, but they've they've used him off the bench more often than starting. Yeah. I I'm with you. It, it, it's a bit of a weird one. It's a bit of a weird one. So fuck Atava now. So Honda's at the ball, by the way, from the kickoff. So Fakatava's passed it out. Come on. A high ball near by Fakatava towards the 10-meter line. Fibidanganu wins it. Come on, Andrew Kellaway out towards Carter Gordon. Come on, they have numbers on the left there. They've utilized it well. Ryan Lawrence out towards the right-hand side. Ooh, a big tackle on him. On that. Come on, Lyons out towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon out towards uh, Tunafi. Come on. Tupo down the ball. Taylor on Tupo. Ooh, he's still going. Nice. Taken down easily. Come on. Lachlan Takaloto going forward a bit. 
Lauren's out. Come on. To the other side. Oh, that could be it. That's a. That was to the face. I think there's an advantage there. There could be an advantage there. I'll look back at that. There could be something there. Ryan Lawrence there passing out to Lima this time. Come on. Rebel's still holding on to this. We're in phase eight now. Connor Gordon out towards Lock on Sakai Loto. Come on. They have numbers on the left there. Andrew Callaway goes by himself. Bit of a spin move there. Come on, Ryan Lawrence now this time. They're getting close towards the 22 meter line here, the Rebels. Come on. Lockie Anderson out towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon out towards uh, Juice, uh, towards Flippa Dunganu. Dunguru taken down. Come on. Taylor El Tupo towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon out towards Andrew Kellaway. Rebels defense holding up well. It's Darby Lancaster on the wing there. Sizing his way through. Ooh, he's done well. Come on. Uh, Kalea holding on there for the Rebels. Come on. Andrew Kelly this time. Finding Carter Gordon. Ooh, Gordon taken down there at the 22 meter line. The numbers here on the left. Oh, Fubin and Gadu kind of going through. Come on. Come on, Rebels. Ooh, can they get the try? Oh! Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, they're looking at this. They're gonna look at this. The Timos and they're look at this. I I don't personally think this is a try, but <laughs> he's saying I've touched it, so we'll we'll, we'll see. Let's see. Has it gone down though? Yeah, no, he's missed it. He's missed it. He hasn't got that done. So a goal on drop, I'll just say. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But that's a big, that's a big, uh, that's a costly, uh, it's a costly miss there for the Rebels. And something, well, now, now the Highlanders have to kind of, it's a good, uh, it's a good escape at least there for the Highlanders at least. But they'll be able to do a goal on drop up. Come on. Yeah, it's a lot of build up there so far. Come on, come on. We have 20 minutes left in this game, guys. 20 minutes left. If if you guys haven't if you guys haven't clicked the like button, guys, click it right now. We're on how many likes so far here? Let's just check. We're on six, guys. Come on, we're only on six likes. Guys, click that like button, guys, if you haven't already. Let's reach the 10 if possible. Click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So yeah, click the like button. But uh, here we go. Carter Gordon now on the ball towards the right wing. Come on. Rebels slowly holding some possession here, guys. Come on. There you go. Come on. 20 minutes left. Ryan Lawrence out there towards Lock and Side. Carter Loto towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon towards Tinel Tupo charging forward. Finding the offload towards Andrew Kellaway. Kellaway's through. Oh, I think it's a high tackle there on um, Kellaway. Carter Gordon. It's Carter Gordon. And he's in my fantasy. Yes. Points. <laughs> Come on. Wow, Rebels extend the lead even further now. And that's seven points, essentially. So that'll be, what, 33? Wow. This is a big win here for the Rebels. Big win. Carter Gordon. Great try there by the Rebels, by the way. Great try. It was Kellaway who broke through the line. And it was, and that was through Tony Otupo's offload. And then, yeah, from there, Ryan Lawrence found a quick pass towards Carter Gordon, who was lashed onto it. And, yeah, scored the try underneath the post. So, yeah, good try there by the Rebels. Yeah, good try. Good try. Yeah, it, it was they were under advantage anyway, so it was going to be a, I, they were going to get points out of this anyway. But there you go, Carter Gordon with the try there. Come on, Gordon, convert this man. Beautiful, thirty three, and then we scored in the sixty first minute. Sixty first minute. Wow. Yeah, good try. Good try. I probably said that was like the second best. I mean, I'm trying to think. The Hondas, they have a good try. And Woody and Fakatava. No, I, I, I'd I, say that's probably the second best try of the game. The, 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 you have to say Darby Lancaster's won. That first one was like really good. That's been the best try of the game so far.
Or was it his second? I, I I can't remember. It was either his first or second. I think it was his first. But uh, wow, Rebels doing really well here, guys. Really well. Come on. Ryan Lawrence out towards Carter Gordon. Carter Gordon. Wow. Woof. He's done well there. Tavata Nawai now on the ball here for the Hollanders. Yeah, Tavata Nawai. I don't know why I say Tavata Nawai. It's Tavata Nawai. Tavata Nawai on the ball. Come on. Tavata Nawai. Ratu Nemkins. Oh! Caught him. Caught him. Carter and uh, what's his what's his name again? Connor Gordon Bashup. That's it. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while play for the Hollanders. Wow. He was he was really good for the Hollanders at one point. Connor Gordon Basham. Good to see him on the field. Um, Anderson, by the way, is off the field. Uh, Matty Proctor has replaced him. Uh yeah. And Smith is on for uh to Lima at the lock at the lock. But yeah, uh by the way, guys, make sure obviously click the like button, guys, if you haven't already. Would greatly appreciate that. We're we're only two likes away, guys. So click the like button, guys. We'd greatly appreciate it. But yeah, Rebels probably having their best season so far in fifth spot. Yeah, exactly. They've been really good. Really good. Yeah. No, I hope I hope they make the playoffs. I really do. It'd be awesome to see if they actually get a home playoff. That'd be like awesome to see. But at the same time, you kind of want to see Fiji and Jurog at the home playoff. Um, yeah, let me let me see the actual thing at the moment. It's because yeah, they're they're in a very good position here, where they can get a bonus point. Uh, I'm still at five. I mean, yeah, jeez, they'll go ahead of the Chiefs. Yeah, it's mad. I think that, I think they have the bonus point, right? I mean, let, let, correct me if I'm wrong. They do have the bonus point, right, guys? Just just confirm me if, if they do. But here we go. Hollanders have the uh, the uh, they're only five minutes away from this, so they can score a try right back. We're in the 64th minute here. Come on. I need Jacob Blatt to rookie Nemkins to score. Come on. Come on. Pass it out. Pass it out. Oh, going bash up here. Oh, he's taken down there. Flapper Tab out. Towards the right. Come on. Come on, come on. There you go, Nemkins there, close. Come on, huh? There's still possession here, guys. But the Rebels effect is holding up strong. They're holding up strong. Flavka Tapa out there towards uh, Mau. Come on. Towards the left once more. Ooh, sells the dummy. Play a final sells the dummy there. It's a good tackle. They've been pushed back here, the, the Hollanders, actually. They've been pushed back here. We're in the 65th minute. Ten phases inside the 22 zone. That's crazy. Ooh, good. That's a, that's a high tackle there. So it's going to be an advantage there for the Hollanders. It was 10 2 but with a high tackle. Tower Tower now. Why now? Looking good. Come on. Oh, he's passed the ball there. Oh, Faya Fung with a little chip. Ah, uh, he's done well. Can't do much in that situation. So there you go. They're going back towards that penalty that was called earlier on for that high tackle from Taylor L2 Bub on Gilbert. Yeah, definitely high. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, they're getting close here. Hollanders have them all. They're getting close towards that try line. They're only five meters out. 
They're pushing forward. Ooh, have they scored? There you go. They've scored. They've scored. Referee has called a try. So who scored that? Who are they saying it scored that try? It was in the 22nd minute. Yeah, in the comments, we have time left. Um, I'm looking. Let me quickly check. We there is a uh, 12 minutes left in the game. 12 minutes left in the game, and there you go. It was Jackson who scored in the 60, um, 67 minutes. But yeah, 12 minutes left in this game, guys. 12 minutes left, and there's still a kick to come here for the Hollanders. So they can close the gap here. Close the gap. Good. He's done well there, Gilbert. He's done well. It's down 24 points. So it's only a nine-point gap here. It's a nine-point gap. Oof. Could the Hollanders do it? I mean, you, you never know. You never know. They just need a try, and then it's all up for grabs. Oh, it's a knock on there by the from the kickoff. From, from the Hunters. Oh! My gosh. The Hunters are like all over the place. That was a terrible kickoff from them. Is that a five meter scrum there? Wow. Five meter scrum for the Rebels. That's a terrible mistake there by the, from the kickoff there. It was a knock on there by Cotton, uh, Connor uh, Gordon Bashup. And then there is um It got kicked out by, um, I think, Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. So. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so the Rebels get, a, <laughs> get to go, can score a try right back if they want. Come on. Come on, come on. So this is a big opportunity here for the Rebels. If they can score a try here, then I think they can have the bonus points, if I'm not mistaken. Come on. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, they have advantage. Oh, no, no advantage. Okay, no advantage. Carter Gordon out towards Fipo Dungano. Five meters out from the try line. Sakai Loto, he's close. Come on. Ooh, we're getting close towards that try line. It's advantage. Advantage towards the Rebels. Oh. Come on. Here are you going to? Oh, they've knocked it on. They've knocked it on. Well, anyway, they've knocked it on there. So it's going to be an advantage. It was advantage anyway towards the Rebels. They should probably take a quick tap here. Carter Gordon. Come on. That's more fantasy points for me. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Love this guy. Love this guy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, good night. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> gosh. Well, there you go. 37 points there. 37. Yeah, quick, good, good, quick tap there by, by, by Lawrence that they kind of noticed that they were, noticed that. And now I said, well, there. Yeah. But yeah, there seems to be a common theme. A lot of the knock-ons. Anyone else else noticed? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, knock-ons happen. Have happened a lot in this game. That's for sure, a lot. Um, but there you go. Um, let's see what 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 minute was that was that try scored? I don't know. They're not kind of show. They're not showing what minute that try was scored. Uh, where's Carter Gordon? Sixty-first minute. And he nails it as well, the conversion. So it's now 39 points. Um, but but where's the... There you go. So I'll just say this 71st minute.
Okay. There you go. It's uh oh, it's actually 38 points. Sorry, not 30. I thought wait, 40, yeah, 40, 40. I was so confused. I was like, what? Because I knew I was wrong with my original thing. But yeah, there you go. 40 to 24. Wow. Yeah, the rebels have just done hit them well. So here we go. Jacob Relative with Wookie Nemkins now running with it. Found a good pass there. Connor Golden Basham now running for it. Oh, he's done well. Come on. I need Nemkins to score a try. I think that's the one thing that'll at least help. Come on. Come on. I need Nemkins to score. Oh, the group's actually on. Even the group's on. I didn't I actually didn't notice that. Wow. Okay, it's advantage here for the Hondos. Advantage to the Hondos. We're in the 74th minute here, guys. 74th minute. Come yeah, on. Good pass there by uh, by Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert's going for the little chip there. Oh, has he scored that? I thought Tom about Tom now I scored that, but I I don't think he put it down. So we're gonna have to go back towards that advantage. I think. Yeah, it was Gilbert with a nice grubber. It was a good kick there. A, little, a good chip kick there, but I think he's yeah. It was Kellaway. He made him slip in a way. Dang. Well, there's only six minutes left in this game, guys. I mean, there's Flippa Dungan is getting a bit of treatment there. Wow, so the Rebels... Okay, so they're right now tied with the Chiefs at fifth place. But they, they need, like, one more try, I think, to get the bonus point. So they haven't got the bonus point yet, guys. It's crazy to think. They haven't even, <laughs> they're on 40 points. They don't even have a bonus point. Yeah, take the bonus point to yeah, take the bonus point away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why are you a Chiefs fan? Is that is that the reason why you're <laughs> I think maybe you're a Chiefs fan if I'm not mistaken, but uh Well they don't have a bonus point by the way. I if I'm not mistaken. They they need a bonus point to actually go ahead of the head of them, right? Because they're they were on 19 points, if I'm not mistaken, beforehand. Yeah, they were 19 points, so well, actually, no, no, no. They actually do have the... Wait, am I being stupid here? No, no, no. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I thought my math was wrong there. I was like, no. Nope. Yes, yeah, so they, they don't have the bonus points so far. Oh, but the Rebels have won it. Wow, so the Rebels have won the lineout. Okay. Jeez, they've stopped the Hollanders from scoring... From... Wow, that's bad from Hollanders. Yeah, I don't want to get the... Yeah, I don't want to get past. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's a try. A try from the Hollanders. Wow, they've snatched onto it. Is that Ethan the Groot? <laughs> ah, we were talking about him. Ethan the Groot, man. So there you go, 29 points. The Groot. Well, that's they're definitely not getting a bonus point, but still, they're they've they're, they'll get the, they should get the win now. The Groot. I think that was more than the 75th minute. Yeah, I'd say 70. Uh, I'll say 74th. Why not? 74th. So there you go. Gilbert with the kick here. Come on. He just needs to convert this. Oh, he's done well. It's curved in. So there you go. 41 points to 31. Wow, it's so only a nine point game at the moment. Uh, but yeah, no. Jason Hamilton says, "Yeah, yeah, uh, will will be last season as a season pass holder for the Hollanders. Can accept a loss, just hard to accept the obvious lack of effort by some players. Not worth ho hooking up, hooking up a dead people to life support. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, come back all maybe. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jason, you 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 got to support the team, man. You got to support the Hollanders." Trust me, I, I I mean, if I was a Blues fan, I, if I if I was living in New Zealand, I'd be still, I'd still be keeping my membership for the Blues for <laughs> for all those dark days. <laughs> so, just power on, man, power on. Yeah, support the Chiefs. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely don't support the Crusaders, by the way, as well. That's uh, that's that's the last thing I want you to do.
Here we go. So here we go. Rebels attach quickly. Ikawasi now breaking through. Come on. Who is he's getting a bit of meters there? Ikawasi. So Smith it. Smith is on there. Um in place of um Lawrence. Oh sorry, no, no, no. Sorry. Lawrence is actually still on. Okay, never mind. Ryan Lawrence is still on. Is that Chuck Mulder, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, Chuck Mulder. Come on. Caught a golden. Oh, Tino Tupo. He fumbled it. Uh, not the best. Yeah, yeah. They at least they at least give you wins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the Chiefs least just lost there. So I want to support the Chiefs, you know. Yeah, pretty tough win. Yeah, well, it's a heartbreaking when, uh, when you lose. But you're, you're a Highlanders fan, so you're used to it. So it would be good for you to have some wins and make the semifinals and final. Yeah, pretty tough when something is obviously not happening behind the scenes. It's a sports success. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah good point. Good point. But here we go. Uh, we're now in the 78th minute here, guys. 78th minute. Highlanders have kicked the ball at the field. So they'll have, a, they'll have another opportunity here. They need to get a try here if possible. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's been intercepted. It's been intercepted. Dory Lancaster. Wow. There you go. Well, it's been stolen. Dory Lancaster has got a hat trick. Wow. Wow. And that's going to be seven as well. Wow, the Rebels have been just great, guys. That's in the 78th minute. Wow, that's incredible. Good intercept there. Good intercept there by Dory Lancaster. By the way, guys, for anyone who is watching, make sure to like the like the um, like this live stream, guys. We greatly appreciate it. Click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and definitely leave a let me know in the live chat what your thoughts on this game. Let me know who you think is the man of the match. Let me know who 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 do you think should be man of the match for this game because I think there's um a few there's a there's a few players um in the conversation for man of the match. Let me know what you guys think. But like I said, make sure obviously to like the video, guys. Like this live stream, would greatly appreciate it. Um, we're currently at, uh, what are we at currently? We're at uh, nine. Come on, we only need one more like, guys. Click the like button, guys. We'd greatly appreciate it. We always want to reach at least 10. So come on, click the like button, guys. Do me the honor of getting that 10. But um, yeah, no, um, to the comments. Uh, yeah, Rebel Gamer says, yeah, I want the Rebels to win, but not with five points, only four. No, they have got the bonus point. Or no, I hate being a Landers fan. <laughs> McKenzie, man of the match. McKenzie, man of the match. <laughs> Yeah, two Highlanders jerseys going cheap. If anyone is interested, hey, to be fair, I don't, I don't, I don't have a Highlanders jersey. I, I, I need a Highlanders jersey. No, no I'm, just, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> so here we go. So Carter going in the kick here, and he converts it. Syria, so uh, forty-seven points to thirty-one. Come on. Have they got the bonus points or no? I don't know. So there you go. The Rebels. Good win. Good win by the Rebels. Wow. Wow. Fifth win for them. But, yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, I kill away, but I'm biased. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Multiple players have a lack of effort. Yeah, I don't know either, to be honest. Yeah. But, well, anyway, there you go, guys. 47 points to 31. What a game that was, guys. Um, really enjoyed that game, actually. Really enjoyed that. Um, you know, Lowen's obviously getting a try to his name in the second minutes. Darby Lancaster getting a hat trick. One in the 20, 20th minutes, 41st minutes. And, um, oh, where's the other one I put? There's, oh, sorry, was, I put for Gordon for some reason. Anyway, 78th minute for him. There's a penalty try on the 77th. Gordon got a double with 61st and 71. Then you have the Hunters. They got a try from Woody in the 10th minutes. Bakatab in the 56th. And Jackson in the 67th. And DeGroote in the 74th. But, uh, wow. Yeah, four win. Four home ground wins this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, good game. Really good game. If I had some amount of the match, um, I'm going to give – I'm giving it towards Darby Lancaster. I thought he was brilliant. Um, again, um. I think uh, Carter Gordon was good as well, but um, 
yeah, I think I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna say Darby Lancaster. Kalina Hattrick is awesome, and yeah, just really happy for him as well because he's come from the sevens program. So good to see he's kind of doing well. But um, yeah, yeah, Barbara Birch, good night. Um, hope you have a good rest. Uh, rest of the week. Yeah, some great players turn up with effort each week, but individuals can't succeed in a team game. Yeah, that's all. Oh, Ooh, well, that's nice. I like that. I like that. Some great players turn up with effort each week, but individuals can't succeed in a team game. Hmm. Well said. Well said. That's a good. I like that. I like that. Uh, like that, come on, man. Yeah, man, Jason, you speaking facts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But um, okay. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for everyone who came along. Greatly appreciate it. Um, did we reach the ten like goal? Let's just check quickly. Ah, come on, we haven't. Come on, guys, like the video, guys, if you haven't already. But um, but yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the live streams.